My favorite Shadowrun 5th edition supplement is the Run Faster sourcebook. I love it so much, in fact, that I almost think it should be the player's handbook of Shadowrun, relegating the core rulebook to just the game master. I say almost because the division isn't really quite that clean, but I highly recommend Run Faster if you can find it. It's for 5th edition. This video is about 5th edition Shadowrun. I have not switched to 6th edition, and I don't intend to. So Run Faster probably isn't in print by the time you're seeing this video anymore, but it's really, really good. And in fact, it has some, it, it's got player options, but it also has an alternate, a couple of alternate build systems for when you're building your character that I think are really fascinating. The sum to 10 build method is a variation on the standard build process, and it assigns number values to the, to the A through E rows in the old familiar priority table from page 65 of the core rulebook. I should pause here. If you've never built a character in Shadowrun, this is not the video for you. Go watch my introduction to building characters in Shadowrun. It's going to be a lot clearer. Okay, continuing. So the A row, A priority is four points. B is three, C is two, Delta D, D is one, E is zero. You have 10 points to spend choose wisely. So in other words, you can have two A priorities, but you use up eight points that way because A is worth four points. So that's eight. That leaves you only two points for the rest of everything about your character, which you can do. Uh, you could get two D priorities or one C priority and then just set the rest to E. Or you could, you know, you could, instead of taking four, two A priorities, you could take three B priorities and one D that's 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 1, uh, equaling 10. So whatever combination you want, you can have it as long as it costs no more than 10 points. The rest of the build process is the same as described by the core rulebook and in my other videos. You can go watch those. Another fun variant that Run Faster offers are codes and ethics. This covers the ideals of different factions like White Hat Hackers and the Omerta Code of Silence, the Path of the Samurai, and many more. These are considered negative qualities because they're expressions of the Code of Honor quality from the core rulebook on page 79. So you get a reimbursement of karma for selecting these codes, but it's a great way to give your character something to, to really, really care about outside of all the apathy of Shadowrun, having that code, whatever it is, is is a cool way to give guidance to your character and how you roleplay that character. And then there's the meta types. Page 44, there's a bunch of information about the major meta types of Shadowrun. That's great. There's a section about dwarves, elves, orcs, trolls, humans, changelings, and shapeshifters, but also about the HMHVV, the human meta human vampiric, vampiric virus, and you can actually play a vampire. It's playable vampirism. It costs you karma. There are varying degrees of infections. You can be an infected and not become an NPC, which makes this book pretty much essential if, if you want to play a vampire. And then there's a bunch of niche meta types as well. Gnomes and dryads and hobgoblins, ogre, oni, satire or satyr, cyclopean, fomorian, giant, minotaur, centaur, naga, pixie, sasquatch, and a bunch more. Well, a few more. That that was a lot of them. That those are the ones that I recognize from like popular mythology. And and there are yet more. So you can play a lot of different creatures thanks to Run Faster. I don't know if Run Faster is actually all that much faster in terms of building your character. There's a lot more options here. It'll probably slow you down if anything, but once you've got that character, you can rest assured that it's a character that you're really going to enjoy playing because there are just so many options here. And the sum to 10 method providing you a new, maybe a little bit more flexible way of building your character is a lot of fun. So if you happen to find a copy of Run Faster out there in the world for sale, buy it for sure. If you're a Shadowrun 5th edition player, it's a really good book. It's a lot of fun. Thanks for watching.